Well, it's it's first and foremost it's based on uh, my family. My family went back to Denmark uh, October last year, and uh, it's probably proven more difficult than what I expected not to see the kids on on, on a daily basis. So so that is that is the main reason, and then it's probably the right progression for me as in my career to now uh, go and and be the the main goalkeeping coach for. For 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 Brunby. so so I'm doing it for for the right reasons. Uh, I would say I, I couldn't keep living like uh, what I've been living for the last uh, well, it's about a year now. Uh, obviously, COVID didn't really help things. Uh, made it really difficult to travel, uh, not to see them, and for them to travel over. So yeah, it, it wasn't it wasn't for me, if I'm being honest, living like this. Yeah, my missus obviously. Uh, she was crying. She was she was really really happy, and I must admit, uh, I was quite emotional as well on the, on the day that that I was told that I was going to be offered the job. The next day it was it was different than all the thoughts about leaving this club set in for me, and and how difficult probably that that will be as well. So it was really really mixed. If I'm being completely honest, yeah, it, it was uh, it was a difficult week after. Sometimes things happen for a reason and, and you need to take the opportunities when they come along. Like obviously if I had to go back to Denmark, Brøndby is, is uh, the perfect club for me. I played there for seven years. Uh, I know the club really well. I know the structure of the club. Yeah, now I'm looking forward to it. I'm really looking forward to it now that uh, things have settled. And uh, it's, gonna be, it's gonna be difficult leaving this place after, after that many years. And uh, I'm gonna miss, miss a lot of people, made a lot of good friends over here. I've always had a really nice relationship with the fans. They always made me feel welcome, which was really important in my early days in, in my career here. I feel like I'm I'm definitely half, if not more, Brightonian. Is that what you call it? First and foremost, I need to, to go back to, to Brøndby and, and, and find my way. I need to learn a little bit about myself as well when I suddenly, it's me who's making the decisions. Luckily, I've learned from Ben, uh, who's for me is one of the best goalkeeping coaches out there. Uh, definitely the best goalkeeping coach I've had in my career. I always got all the, the experience that I got from him to, to fall back on. And obviously, it's not just going to be easy, So, but I'll need to find my own way. And then I would like at some stage in the future to come back and coach in, in England again. But right now, the family is, uh, comes first and, and, and that's the most important right now. And then. I'm looking forward to really to try and go, do a really good job for for Brindley.